The unique energy potential of the coffee crop was first identified by the Ethiopians. Coffee was first used as a beverage by priests living in Sufi monasteries in Yemen. In the middle of the 15th century, it spreads as a coffee drink through the Vatinian market in Italy to other European countries and to Indonesia and America. As a commodity, coffee is second only to crude oil in the world today. Coffee has become one of the most popular beverages in the world. Around the world, about 2.5 billion cups of coffee are consumed daily. With the emergence of different flavored coffee drinks, a coffee culture and an art unique to coffee too has made an appearance around the world. Coffee is one of the most popular and refreshing drinks in the world. Coffee is drunk in a variety of ways. Cappuccino, espresso, latte and Americano are a few of them. Today in this video, we are going to show you a business that has earned a name for itself by producing the finest quality coffee for these various types of coffee drinks. Today I am at the premises of Kyoto Coffee Private Limited. It is located at Kumbiangoda in Madhali district. I have here with me the coffee expert, the barrister of the company. He is one Mr. Shalinda Heva Patirana. Let's find out from him what these popular coffee types are. Yes, Gayani. Actually, um, as you mentioned, uh, those older beverages like espresso, cappuccinos, lattes, americanos are very popular among this uh, coffee uh, cafe culture in internationally. Uh, one uh, common factor with this, all these coffee beverages that you mentioned is uh, the base or the main ingredient for those uh, beverages is the espresso. Uh, so for the espresso only we are adding different uh, textured or type of uh, either milk or water or any kind of flavors for this all the beverages that you have mentioned. Uh, so for instance, if you take uh, espresso, espresso is actually a way of brewing coffee. Though it's a very popular beverage, uh, the, it's, it's a way of brewing method actually, uh, this espresso. Um, a small amount of uh, nearly boiled uh, hot water, like uh, 88 to 92 degrees Celsius, uh, is uh, forced with a high pressure of like 9 bar pressure, uh, with uh, through uh, finely, grind, finely ground uh, coffee pack or the coffee powder layer and to extract that essence which you are collecting at the end is what you call as espresso. Uh, the specialty with this espresso is uh, the taste notes. It's a uh, combination of acidity, sweetness and bitterness very harmoniously balanced uh, in a very good espresso. Uh, and also, due to this uh, high pressure uh, brewing method, it has, uh, you can see this visibly, uh, you can see a very thick layer on top of the beverage, which we call as crema. Um, yeah, so uh, this is in a nutshell or in a short, uh, what is uh, we call as espresso. And if you take cappuccino, uh, this popular beverage, uh, again, is invented back in Italy in early 90s. Uh, the cappuccino, uh, the name has come uh, from uh, uh, among some monks who used to live in Europe. I just, uh, just to uh, explain about the cappuccino, again, uh, the base or the main ingredients is espresso. Uh, we are adding um, steamed or textured foam milk into this espresso to create a nice harmonious balance of the sweetness of the milk and the uh, combination of uh, those uh, three flavor profiles which you're talking about in espresso, the bitterness, sweetness, and acidity. Uh, the cappuccino. Again, uh, as we uh, talk about, the main ingredient or the base is espresso. To the espresso only, we are adding this textured uh, or the foam milk into the espresso to create a nice uh, harmony and uh, balance of the uh, sweetness of milk and the uh, this uh, three combination of the flavors that we talk about in espresso, uh, the acidity, sweetness, and bitterness. Uh, at the end, it, you will have a like, very nice creamy, uh, sweet taste of milk-based uh, 
beverage we call it as cappuccino uh, just to explain about the cappuccino the name is uh, again since this beverage has originated back in Italy in early 90s uh, some of the monks who used to live in Europe uh, that uh, the robe which those monks used to wear uh, the color of the, that robe is very similar to the color which you get uh, by mixing um, coffee and milk, that light brown color. Uh, due to that only this name has been originated uh, in, uh, in coffee uh, world. Um, once again, uh, just to explain about the cafe latte, basically it's very uh, uh, light coffee base uh, beverage, uh, coffee based beverage uh, with a hint of coffee actually and it's more milky, uh, very light, very similar to Sri Lankan uh, Kirikopi. And uh, the other beverage that you mentioned, uh, Americano, again during uh, World War One, uh, when the American soldiers were fighting in Italian border, they couldn't drink this uh, coffee which Italians uh, drink, which is espresso. It was too strong for them. So what they did was they dilute with the hot water and used to drink this uh, coffee by uh, reducing the strength of the coffee. So this uh, American uh, people uh, drink, drinking coffee was popularized among the society called Americano, which is uh, espresso dilute with hot water. It's with light black coffee. And do you think that the Sri Lankan coffee has the ability to produce these specialty coffees? Uh, yes, and actually uh, when we consider, when you see uh, the origin of uh, Ceylon coffee, uh, we have uh, received our coffee plants during the Dutch uh, colonial time from the countries like uh, Yemen and Ethiopia. Uh, those uh, coffee plants actually are very high quality. Uh, from the current samples uh, what we have producing, we have submitted to the various specialty coffee markets as Japan, Australia, German, UK and Netherlands. Uh, very uh, happy to tell you Gayani actually, uh, we are very pleased uh, with the score that we have received for our samples. It's right now it's uh, in um, 85 to 87 level. So to uh, claim as uh, specialty coffee uh, in international level, uh, you should score above 80% out of 100. So currently we are in that 85 to 87 level, which we are very pleased at the moment. Uh, but considering the international uh, coffee market, we are yet to grow uh, because internationally we are talking about like 95 plus uh, cup score uh, coffee uh, single origins. Uh, which we are very confident that we can develop in the uh, near future. The preparation of specialty coffee drinks is a task that should be addressed with special care. The quality of this specialty coffee is greatly influenced by all the good agricultural practices from coffee nursery to harvest including post-harvest and value-added activities such as selection, processing and roasting. Another factor that affects the quality is the coffee variety used. Generally, the average Q grade or the cup score for specific coffee drinks should be above 80%. This value of export quality Sri Lankan coffee is in the range of 85% to 87%. Coffee with the Q grade value of around 95% is in high demand at the world's top star cafe restaurants. Therefore, being one of the 10 best coffee varieties in the world, the Lak Parakum coffee variety can definitely win that market with its quality harvesting after ripening. Coffee is the most drunk beverage, only second to water. And this art of coffee is closely associated with the tourism industry. So could you please give us your point of view about the tourism industry and coffee in Sri Lanka? Yes, again, actually, uh, now if you see uh, the government uh, plan on uh, tourism trade here in Sri Lanka, next year uh, the government is uh, expecting close to 500 US million uh, US dollar uh, income from tourism trade. If you take uh, before the pandemic uh, situation back in uh, 2019, we managed to attract uh, close to 2 million uh, number of uh, tourists to Sri Lanka. So as you said, uh, this, most of these uh, foreigners or the travelers or the tourists who visit Sri Lanka, 
they start their day with with a nice uh, healthy coffee so if you can cater this uh, uh, to this demand uh, of course we are very optimized that we can add very huge uh, value to their experience uh, during this Sri Lankan stay because this is what they are taking back to their home the food and beverage and the, the places that they visit the taste uh, they are taking back with them to their countries uh, at the end of the trip uh, so if you can create that uh, nice um, momentum or the uh, memory uh, memorable experience to them I think we will be uh, able to attract uh, more uh, foreigners or the more tourism uh, tourists uh, which can contribute to Sri Lankan economy as well. Tourists, especially foreigners visiting Sri Lanka, consider enjoying these specialty coffee drinks to which they are used to as an important need during their visit. Due to this requirement, more than 100 metric tons of coffee is imported annually to Sri Lanka in order to prepare these specialty coffee drinks. But if we produce high quality coffee in our own country, that definitely is a potential locally to meet this demand by using that coffee to make these specialty coffee drinks. There is a rapidly growing market for coffee nowadays. You too can become a coffee producer and take the Sri Lankan coffee flavour to the world. The Department of Export Agriculture is always at your service to bring out the entrepreneurship in you.